Greetings everyone and welcome back to TNO The Last Days of Europe and I'm your host, Herr Mokalover. In which right now we're looking at a uh, three to four way civil war in Germany. No matter, we're going to lose Ostpreußen anyways. But regardless, like I just said, yeah, basically you're going to lose Ostpreußen pretty much every single time. There's no way we can save that. And this little task force, which looks pretty cool, looks pretty nice, but it's not worth that much. And honestly, once we get, once the enemies get close to Königsberg around here, I'm just going to delete the divisions. At least we get a little bit of manpower and equipment back instead of them just straight up dying. Regardless, we have set up our line here. And I'm rushing soldiers through the front. And actually, no, I lied. We did not set up our line here because I don't want enemies to come on in and take the territory. And we've also set up a good amount of tanks and motorized to assist in ground operations. And the Belga Krieg, we have a couple comments to go through as well. But we'll get to those eventually. Now, when I first did this, when Tino first came out, I went down the Waffen SS, which is the strongest one part of the focus for here. If you want to win, have a much better gear, path of guarantee to win, take the Waffen SS. Now, we could do Burgundische SS, but that basically means we're going to become, I'm pretty sure, Himmler's puppet, so don't really want to do that. So we'll choose a more difficult path, <laughs> Deutsche SS. So the Burgundians are noble allies, exemplars of all that is good and true in the Aryan race. The Waffen SS are legions without number, discipline, and professional, but either can win this war for us. This is a German war, fought on German soil. Only the blood of true-born Germans raised in the helmet can redeem the fatherland. This will not be an easy path to walk, but walk it we must. And we get full Hadrich, which we're primarily around Hadrich's men and those loyal to him. Him will not be pleased. Oh well. Which I think is an okay path to do. If not, I can always redo the Civil War anyway. later on anyway. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, someone says I'm going to go crazy doing this. Yes, I probably am. And that's okay. And Burgundy has gone to war as well. Cool. Couple comments. Someone wants me to play as Macmillan's collaborationist government in England in TNO. Well, let's see what happens eventually. I do plan on playing England more often. Now, there's a lot of support for me to play uh, Dangus Speer. So people really, really want me to play Speer, which I think is cool. Yeah, I definitely will play Speer. Gang of Four and whatever path, other path, normal path he has. So, definitely do that. Plays Goring eventually. Plays Bowman. Like, I get that there's like very few campaigns on like YouTube and such for paths like that but we'll see what happens the game is lagging right now so I do plan on playing them so I did want to do Hadrish in addition to the discord server uh, saying that hey you should totally do this in addition to that I also just wanted to see what his new content was like because I've heard it's crazy and a little bit redeemable for him so I guess we're in a store for pretty much whatever happens all right so let's, do we have enough soldiers here actually uh, Okay, so when we first began the Civil War, like, you can't do a full, full front line, so we'll make a full front line. We're going to shift and left click because it makes it a defensive line, so our soldiers hopefully won't move around too much. And these guys are literally just here to be bait, so. Oh, that sucks. Well, you're pretty much dead already, so. Thank you. And a little bit more lag. So, if someone asks, what is. In this timeline, there's a guy named Vituska. What happened to him? Who is Vituska? Uh Wow. Okay. Okay, I wonder where... I've seen this portrait before. Kovner, Abba Kovner. I've seen this portrait before. I never realized who, where he was from. From the, sh from the shadows. Wait, does, does, he have con does he have content? Wait, hold on. United Partisans Organization? Are they Jewish partisans? Mm. Hmm. I'm very interested now. Regardless, is anyone moving down here? No. Well, a little bit, actually. Let's let the guys just move around a little bit first. That's totally fine. And actually, before we do that as well, before we start moving out and attacking provinces, we don't have that many planes. But I'm still going to use them. Missiles, those are okay. Interceptors, I don't use interceptors. We actually might use interceptors. That would be nice. We have some close air support carrier versions. Fighters, this is all we've got to work with. It's actually, more cast than I thought we had. I thought we'd only have like 16, but no, we have 27, which is not bad. Totally fine, totally fine. Not too worried. As long as no one abandons the line, that's good. Hans Spotter assumes control of that area. Uh, let's see. I want you to get through there. Oh, they're cutting us off. That sucks. Just, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, no. Well, you're not cut off, are you? Well, you, ba you basically already are completely installed. You guys, hold on for as long as you can. Don't lose Königsberg yet. All right, so it looks pretty good. And here we're going to go. We're going to go that way, and then take out the tank, and actually take out 
Yeah, go up there. Send up with you this division, or these two, and then go up to Cologne. Uh, I'm going to send you all up there as well, and you're going to have to support the attack so we can get the West Bank of the Rhine. Warsaw Uprising, good. Well, actually, technically not good, but, you know, whatever. And also, I've already made sure that we spend more on civilian and military spending because GDP, or debt, is just but a number, and we go need extra attack with that extra spending. Cool. I don't remember telling you to attack there, but okay. Come on, we're going to circle these four divisions. Anyone attacking us yet? No, Borman will attack us quite harshly eventually, so... Got to keep that in mind. You guys are heading up north. Keep these guys in place. That'd be good. You know what? Attack here too. Why not? There we go. Encircled. We could begin an assault, but I'm not going to. I'm going to only assault with the tanks. You, that's, you gotta save resources. Oh, also, I don't want to forget. We're going to need fuel. We need a lot of anti-tank as well. Eventually, we will get more and more equipment or more factories. So we can make more equipment, which would be very nice. But this is going to be pretty key to get. Get more of this. We need a couple more rifles. But we're doing... That's why I got a lot of rifles early on, an extra 15,000 just in case, because the resistance is going to be god-awful. So, and honestly, right now what we have is just barely enough to <laughs> fill in the soldiers that need more rifles and such. Alright, so let's stretch out our line a little bit more. Whatever, formation of the Africa Shield. Good luck, guys. Oh, and trade, 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 trade. Don't want to forget about that. Oh, everyone's killing each other down there. Oh, gamers rise up, or really known as the Serbs. Trying to make some more fineries. Moseland, that'd be okay. Not too concerned about this stuff right now. We've got really good radar. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Trade, don't forget. Uh, Alright, so, like I said... Oh, wait, no. It's not Italy. It's, a uh, Del Golfo. What the Palestinian Arab state? Uh, which one is govern... Governatorato del Gol Golfo. Italian Empire. Is that these guys? No. Oh, it's the Abu Dhabi people. I love Abu Dhabi. I don't care how much it takes. We need fuel. Without fuel, we, we can't win. Alright, so give it some time. Get our guys a little bit more situated on the line. And... Tank v. Tank. Let's throw you guys in there. 3v2. Not too bad. African Chaos. Pretty typical. Dumb should stop. Uh, one of the comments was, like, why do I not, like, allow people to hear the super event music? First of all, because it demonetizes the video. That's one of the reasons. Not the most important reason, but one of the reasons. And secondly, I always forget to, like, mute the music. So. It is what it is. I don't know. Cool. And, yeah, attacking with infantry, not a good idea, but it's only four divisions here. Not too concerned about that. Head on down here if you can as well. Oh, wait. Uh, I said we would be using planes. I not give them orders. Here, just stay with the these guys. Are, they're not attacking over here yet, which is good. I mean, as long as they don't get it, they can't use those factories. Purity? Three divisions of civilian volunteers are not bad, but I like purity. The association of our <clears throat> Fuhrer with treachery and Himmlerite scheming is patently unfair. Reinhold Heydrich was a dear friend and confidant of the great Adolf Hitler. Why would he ever betray Germany? If you would speak of treason, look no further than those self-proclaimed Führers we face. An effeminate, a liberal, and a brown-nosing bureaucrat, and a decadent warmonger. Are these the true faces of National Socialism? Are they the ones we would, you would throw your weight behind? No, Heydrich. Vati Heydrich, daddy. A rightful Führer isn't the embodiment of Aryan virtue and the National Socialist ethno ethos. Heed not the words of traitors believe in Vati Heydrich. Absolutely. Even though we have minus 65% war support. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Uh, just show us what we can have to do here. I mean, we can sabotage front lines. I'm not going to even bother with that stuff, probably. We have no legitimacy, legitimacy, no influence. I don't care. It means nothing right now. Good. Oipin is ours. And actually, let's see. Occupied territories is probably better to keep it on. Eh, I don't like the less compliance. I like getting more compliance. And even though we technically take use less garrisons... We still get quite a bit of damage here, so... I want to get as much compliance as possible. Like, that's going to be so important. Alright, so just in case, go ahead and do this. And a solid single front line. Now, next goal is to do this. Come over here. We're going to have to fight over there. Now, there's only two light infantry... Ooh, hold on. Oh, don't, don't go too fast yet. we got to get the tanks in there, too. Well, there's only two light infantry divisions. Not too bad. We'll come over here, come over here, maybe get to Dortmund and take out Essen that way. Now, Essen's gonna, not going to be easy, but we do have planes, which is very, very good. Alright. 
Königsberg captured uh, the stronghold of the SS in East Königsberg has fallen to advancing forces. The sight those men saw as they entered the city is none other men will ever forget. The fighting was brutal, like most of the fighting spread throughout the country. SS fanatics fought to man, fought to a man as their forces pushed deeper into the city. Hundreds of crying, starving, and beaten Germans lumped throughout the lines as they sought safety. It wasn't a problem until random civilians began to explode. As we learned later, the SS went around the city, abducting entire families and forcing one of the members to wear salvation vests. The people who volunteered were strapped with bombs before mingling in with other civilians fleeing SS brutality, starvation, and massacres. As they were pushed deeper into the city, the SS began to use literal human shields. Hundreds of men, women, and children were forced to march towards the enemy lines as SS troops followed close behind with panzers and armored APCs. Only a tragic few caught between the crossfire survived. When the attackers finally reached the center of the city. Lines of civilians were handcuffed together in front of the machine gun posts and trenches. The men who took part in that final assault refused to talk about it. Still. Needless to say, the civilians of Königsberg or that or those that are still alive are thrilled to be liberated from the SS not really caring for who the liberators are. For them, anyone, literally anyone, is better than Hadrish? Mm, I don't know about that. Avati Hadrish will see to their demise. For the people of Russia are traitorous scum, they deserve no less. So be it. It is just merely a stop. On the way to victory in it. Actually, Goring is doing quite well pushing into here, but then Hamburg is... Hmm. Well, as long as you're killing each other, too. Now, Bormann is probably... I want to say Bormann is actually the greatest threat to us. First of all, they're actually right on the line here. And secondly, they have all of Austria and all of southern Germany, which is pretty intense. I mean, yeah, Prussia and northern Germany is pretty strong. Northwest Germany is not that strong, and we're the weakest one. But yeah, Bormann actually scares me the most just because he will attack like crazy later on. Like, he he's nuts. Well, in addition to his policies, but whatever. There you go. Well, went pretty candidly around here, so. And then the reason why I don't use all my motorized in the in this little arm here is because I need soldiers on the line. Like I said, Bormann, Goring, not really Speer, but those two big boys, two old, ugly, well, they're not really that ugly, but the fat man and Bormann, the balding guy, they really, really, really will attack our clients like crazy, and we can't afford that. Actually, get the motorized going in there first. Get the tanks moving up north. If you can get to Onsbrook, that might not be bad. Bellum Topping would be better. Spread out. Oh. Nice. Can we get Dortmund? Yes, we can. Good. Speer. Taking out Speer for the most part is not that bad. But we do, like I said before in the last episode, we have to be careful of what could happen. Oh, actually, I'm going to send one, one of each. When we take too much territory, because then Goring and Bormann will form an anti hadrish pack. But we do have some time before we actually get to that point. So, actually, we have quite a bit of time, which is actually really, really nice. It made this definitely easier than what the game first was like. So, get more of that. We're doing better on fuel. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. As long as we get enough infantry around here, that's good. And I'm going to cut Essen out of the equation. Oh, hold on. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. You're crazy. Lesser allies. Most German citizens do not have a positive image of the Reichsführer Himmler, despite his good intentions. Unfortunate, but that needn't be a hindrance to us. By sacrificing some of Himmler's goodwill towards us, we've made the fear more appealing to Germans who are not of the SS. A surprising few or number of the volunteers have come forward to take up arms in his name. No brave soldier shall be turned away in Germany's hour of need. Follow us, bold Aryans. I do have a cup of coffee here. Eggnog flavored coffee. And now I'm thinking, I might not be a big fan of eggnog. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Go and hold, guys. You don't need to attack. Don't waste lives. No. Uh, guys, I said hold. You know what? I'd rather you wait and get down here first. Just hold. Be patient. We will have them. We will have them. Three. Two. One. Now you can attack like crazy. But don't be too crazy. Men are not too often replaceable. At least for now. If we can win here, then we can encircle three divisions and destroy them, even though it won't really matter too much since Bormann's going, or actually Goring's going crazy. And we've cut off the capital of Essen. Nice. Just wait for some infantry to get through here first. That'd be great. Take these guys out. Actually, these guys will be starving for supplies then. Since they, oh, for the most part. But actually, over here, Essen's most important. Wilhelmshaven's most important. I'm just looking for like major population centers. Frankfurt will become the capital next, which is totally fine with me. Starve these guys out a little bit. Maybe, uh, maybe starve these. Oh, these guys are going to get starved out. But, I don't want to win too too quickly yet. Let's move in there. And then move up there. Throw in these guys so we can put them actually on the front lines and capture Essence so we can take their factories. We have to have the factories. Alright, so since they're doing good work, they're doing, well, some might say, the Lord's work. But then again, we have state atheism, so what do you expect? Alright, Essence, Essence. 
going to Essen. Ah. Uh, good. Not bad so far. Pretty good. Shapiro's about to capitulate. It, once he loses Frankfurt, it's all over for him. And now we'll have Daddy Goring to contend with. How great. It's fine, whatever. Essen captured. The, cap the capital of the proclaimed reformers of Germany has fallen today, but that hasn't stopped the killings for now. Trapped soldiers who are hiding throughout the city. The battle is cataclysmic. Cataclysmic. Steadfast and zealous students clash with an equally determined enemy. The bombardment of the entire city did little to dampen the spirits of the defenders. Speer loyalists of all ages took up defenses in the rubble and patiently awaited the inevitable assault on the city itself. The fight more resembled a death struggle but reminiscent to the great battles of the east than a simple clash of a split country as waves of young men tempted to storm important locations, many of them mowed down in the streets. Back and forth battles raged for important buildings that still overlooked tactically vital areas of the now ruined city. Strong points too stubborn to fall were reportedly repeatedly hit with ballistic and ground based missiles by the attackers, supported by tanks and APCs. One by one, the city blocks began to fall. Cars loaded with bombs and artillery shells were the response, and more than a few of the surprise attackers met a grisly fate as these makeshift bombs started to hit the convoys, troop formations, armor, and strong points, refusing to surrender after the fall of the city. Shapiro's forces abandoned their military wear and blended into what remains of the civilian population, which is currently being brutalized as the conquerors exact revenge and try to root out the remains of the reformers. Well, this bloodbath raged on. How about Speer and his most important advisors quietly left the city? Their current location unknown as observers watch these events, un these events unfold. One recurring question keeps at being asked. Is this a fate that awaits the rest of Germany? Germany's latest bloodbath doesn't look over. No. And actually, we could have taken the event to, like, capture this stuff, but I'm not sure what this actually does. Like, you lose influence, capture Bremen, capture all this stuff, but is it really... From what I've seen, it doesn't seem like it does too much. Oh... These guys are cut off, so I'm not too worried about it. Lesser allies. Good. Very good. How are we already 16 minutes in this video? What the heck? Define German. Science makes new discoveries all the time. That fact remains true for racial science. Once, not so long ago, they said that only Prussians were true German. Now, as before, our knowledge has expanded. There are more Germans than we previously thought in Europe, even if they have the misfortune of being born in lesser nations such as France or Bohemia. If there are any such individuals within our lands, they must naturally be granted the right, the status of true Germans and... As is a ride, brought into the Deutsche SS. Aryans of all nations unite. Actually, what is it? What do we currently get with this? So, so for Hadrish, we get nothing yet. Eventually, we do get more defense and such, which is pretty good, but we'll see what happens. Go ahead, you have your orders. Oh, did they break over here? No, they did not. Men, hold hold the line. Hold the line. Oh, they still don't have Wilhelmshaven, which is fine. So my goal next is to get Wilhelmshaven and get up to the line of the river next to Bremen. That is the goal. We gotta have a good defensive area here. Oh, and they got supplies back. That's fine. Actually, that's not fine. Kill them off right here. Someone also recommended I play as America again sometime. Yes, I will play as the United States. I'm just not sure when. I'll be honest, I have no idea when. I want to. Don't get me wrong, I really want to, but... That's gonna take time. There we go. Yeah, three more divisions destroyed. Algerian Crisis, a torch extinguished. Look at that! So, the bitter westward wind blasted over the huddled masses of civilians, chilling them to the bone. SS troops prowled through the crowd with predatory eyes, searching for a hint of suspicious activity. Reinhard Daddy Hadrisch wiggled his hand into a tight black glove and silently nodded towards the gallows. Piano wire nooses were placed under the swing, swinging meat hooks with care. Many reform traders had cracked under their interrogation. They told the tale of Albert Speer, who fled Germany a week before the remnants of his degenerate acolytes officially declared surrender. The liberal weasel who had fought, sought to betray the Aryan race, the man whose avarice an ego who had aligned himself with the secret calif capitalists and crypto Bolsheviks had abandoned his own movement. The black tendrils of the SS had wrapped around the torch of liberty and snuffed it out for all eternity. Hadrish watched with cold satisfaction. As four men were led onto the gallows, like Speer, these rats had also attempted to scurry away to America, the largest hive of corruption and mis miscegenation on the planet. Unlike Speer, they had left too late. The four men stood trembling on the platform, their loose ties and open jackets fluttering violently. Despite their bruised and bloodied faces, Hadrich could just about recognize them. Kiesinger was glancing towards the crowd with unfocused eyes, Eberhard's blanched face and wobbling chins inside of much amusement among the patrolling SS troops. Tresco was staring at Hadrich in defiance through his quivering lips or his legs betrayed him. While Schmidt's eyes had once been were two swollen lumps of purple flesh. The rat was whispering under his breath. Hadrish raised his hand in the reflection of his unblinking blue eyes. Eight legs jerked violently. He counted the minutes. Eight for Tresco, eleven for Kiesinger, fifteen for Schmidt, nineteen for Erhard. No one made a sound. Easy. Cool. So here's going to be a little bit of a problem. And now our line's been fully extended into a really bad spotlight. I'm not going to move my soldiers. I'm going to let these guys move in a little bit more, and I'm going to manually control these guys to actually move up. 
because doing anything other than that would destroy the line near capital and I cannot afford that. Or we can't really afford that, you know? Oh, you guys go there, you guys go there. Just move up the line, let's manually move it up. That's the most important thing to do right now. They're moving, no worries, no worries. Frankfurt captured. Okay, so Frankfurt, one of Albert Schwell's largest centers of support, has fallen after an intense four-day struggle for the city order. Or city center. Really? Because we literally just walked into there. Although some young students contested nearly every city block, their morale was simply not enough in the face of sustained artillery fire combined with determined infantry assaults. The building-to-building -building fighting has torn apart the old, middle, or medieval center of the city. After Schwell's loyalists turned the section into a virtual fortress, those on the offensive lost their patience and decided to level most of the culturally rich old quarter. Lingering gunshots ring out as Schwell supporters are hunted down to the man. Goethe University, once the largest school in the city, is now little more than a grave for those who made their last stand there. The only occupants being the corpses of the defenders lying next to a bloodstained, ruined wall. And everyone is asking themselves the same question. Will Speer recover, or is he finished? Well, he's already dead. Or gone, at least. Speer's fanatics have been put to the ground. Yes, they have. As they should have been. And, wait, hold on. We have Frankfurt? Uh, I don't know if we have Frankfurt, but you know what? Move up anyways. Take as much of this line as you possibly can, because it's totally okay. It won't hurt us. It won't make us uh, get the anti hatred pack yet. Uh, convert five legitimacy? Eh, I don't know about that. I don't want to... Well, we could take this. I don't really want to stretch my line too much. The goal is to encircle and destroy, so... And we want hatred... Not hatred. We are hatred. We want Bullring and Bullman to just murder each other. Which they will. Like, don't get me wrong. They absolutely will. Are you guys already here? What is going on? Oh. Okay. Whatever. I'll uh, set some tanks to help you out. Cool. So, I really want to wait for this stuff to happen first. Actually, just come to fill off, and you guys can probably actually do pretty okay going that way. There you go. Especially with the tanks, so. Get to the river and defend. We're over here already. That's good. Take you guys and go up there. Castle? Does no one want Castle? Or, I guess, Cas Cassel. Actually, you guys go up there. You guys go up there. I'm going to send you guys this way. There we go. Alright, so, now the lines are united. There we go. Much better. Now, don't be shifting around too much. We can't afford to have too many soldiers leaving and going which and any way they want. Good. If you'd like to, Wilhelm's often would be pretty important to get. I mean, maybe we'll take Bremen after that. Good. Beautiful. Uh, send one guy that way. Send the other guy to go this way. And you hold. There you go. They won't be able to break or motorize, hopefully. They might be able to, but hopefully not. There we go. Looking not too bad, actually, already. I'd say we're doing pretty darn well with minus 45% war support. But that's just me. Alright, now here's the goal. We're going to push these guys to the river. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we might even be able to circle to Bielefeld. Bielefeld. Anything else here that we need to know about? Casualty 12.6 billion in terms of uh, yearly deficits? Whatever, I don't care. Alright, tanks are ready to go. Let's go. Send you guys in too. And if you can, take half you guys and go right there. You should be able to win. I'm going to send you guys down here, too. There you go. Easy. Define German. Fight for what's right. Yes, please. Can you not see, fellow Aryans? Do our deeds not satisfy you? The SS is not your enemy. We've always been the stalwart defenders of national socialism. When conflict exists between us, it is only because some deviant or Jewish puppet wishes it. Is it they who are traitors and renegades? Not us. If you would, save the Fatherland. If you are pure blood Aryan, then join us. Rebel against your dark masters, or all of you will perish. I guarantee you, you will perish if you do not do what we say. All right, we're about to circle two divisions. Not great, not bad, but time for coffee. And if you heard a little clank there, I hit my tooth. My bad. Doesn't feel great, but whatever. I don't care. Now, not bad. Two divisions, including an enemy tank division, and here we go. They have just begun their assaults. And this is what I'm most worried about. We might lose Cassell. Yeah, you know, if we're going to lose in Gin Circle, don't, don't even try it. Just, just retreat. Go ahead. We need to get rid of these guys as fast as possible. There you go. They, they were crushed very quickly. And I think I have to rescue my... Ooh, I definitely do not want to lose this. You know what? You're going to have to hold. I don't want to do last end, and I can't. Oh, crud. This is not good. Not good. No, go this way. Go this way. No, go, go down here. Go down here. I don't want to lose Frankfurt. If anything, I do not want to lose Frankfurt. Uh, Germany. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go this way. I immediately come down here. Crush them. Kill them. we got to help support the line down here right now. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Get in there. We need those factories right now. Get over here as well. 
We'll hold here, maybe. Oh, you were pushed back? I don't think so, son. Hold, hold, hold. Get back in there, boy. Get those tanks in there. Cassell is important because it's a nice little defensible area. I told you that Borman would be attacking again. Oh, look, and then Borman's attacking, or maybe someone Goring is attacking. Not bad. Uh, how many men have we lost? 7,000 versus almost 40,000. So far, I'd say we're successful so somewhat. Oh, yes, get down there. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Nice. Hey, we're holding out. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, they're definitely having some issues around here. So, where do we attack next? Usually, I found more su success attacking in the north, so we'll probably do that. But I will rest my sold this special division. Actually, you know what? Army 2. Uh, I'm just going to call you Panzers, because this is like, that's, that is going to be the bread and butter for our campaign, for this little civil war. They've got to be strong. They've got to be the best, best, the best, the best, the best, the best. All right, look at infantry equipment. Beautiful. Anti-tank. We had a deficit of over 2,000. Now it's minus 47. Tanks, we got 1,000 in reserve. Motorized, we got 2,000. Support equipment, we're looking really, really good right now. But it could, it could all go up in smoke very soon. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, next up, I want to make sure we do one thing. Military divisions, they already have military police, even though they're not infantry. And technically, infantry battalions have more suppression. We're not going to switch to that because that requires anti-tank. I don't like that normal infantry battalions require anti-tank. So this is actually probably better for us anyways. And actually, that probably will save us some anti-tank too, so. Yeah, got to say, I'm not a huge fan of eggnog. Minus 51. Boom, there we go. Awesome. We have enough anti-tank to fully supply our soldiers. And that is the most important thing. All right, so we can attack here. That's pretty dangerous. I'd rather attack up here, actually. I'd rather just attack Bremen. Is there anywhere... Ooh, we could get Hanover. Oh, this is going to be risky. We could try to get over here. That might be for the better. Bremen would be pretty good to capture Veen. Oh, we can't do that anyways. We need more influence. Uh, there you go. Fight for what's right, my friends. Volunteer divisions. We could... Full strong in Germany. The factories are not nearly as productive as they, used, as they used to be or should be. Our workers have been f far too lax as of late. They must be reminded of what we are fighting for and the importance of the rule and the salvation of the Aryan race. Their artisanship, artisanship is just as vital to the Germany's cause as the soldiers' bravery or the pilots' daring. What that means in simple terms is work harder. Work harder, faster, not better. You're so not Speerites, are you? Hmm. Now, if we are able to break down here... Actually... Do we have the gold to get Hanover? No, we do not. And doing this stuff is okay. I mean, uh, stealing equipment is not bad. And technically, that's actually pretty... Actually, that's not too bad. Especially if they have no, like, stockpile. Do we have... What do we know about them? That's a lot of manpower. Goring has a lot of... Oh, some... Actually, quite a bit less manpower. That's why I'm more worried about Bowman than anything else. Uh, how much infantry equipment do they have? Because they won't attack if they don't have enough infantry equipment. They have none. Right? Infantry equipment, yeah. Uh... For, it says 4,000. I don't know if we'll actually get 4,000. We don't really need it. I'm going to save it. All right, guys. Good luck. You should be able to win. And now we need more divisions. So are we making any? No, we're not. Infantry. We could make those. Let's make just one. Yeah, we got to get more divisions. Actually, let's take a look at this. Let's get more daily command power, as well as recruitable population factor. Not great. And the other version would have been much better, but whatever. Oh, how did the these guys get in there first? All right, cool. Whatever. So, what we're going to do is... Uh, we're just probably going to push up the river then. Because I want Bremen. Bremen is a nice place to get more factories. Even though Hanover, actually... Mm, we could probably could take Hanover. But, if no one is here... You might as well just move in, right? And just keep an eye on the southern line. You never know. Very, very good. Very, very good. Um... Now, I do not want to separate my line into two. Actually, it wouldn't be too bad to do, but we'll see what happens. Not bad. Not bad. More factories? Do we grab it? Well, there's not that many factories over there. That sucks. It's alright, though. Um, if they're just going to abandon the line... I'm going to go and capture Bremen. Very good. Very, very good. And I'm going to cut these guys off. Boom, boom. That's all I have to do. 
Uh, would you actually be able to win by doing that? I don't think so. Now head on over here. Okay, they just abandoned Bremen. Okay. Why not? Well, we got him. I'm sure what that really did for us, but... Did that give us anything? A better jet cast? Nice. Anything over here? Drop tanks, we can wait on that. It is 64 currently. What else could we use? Maybe more radar, perhaps? But let's keep doing our infantry stuff. So, with a better soft attack and breakthrough for that stuff. And armor. More soft attack, hard attack, and piercing. That'd be quite bueno. Now it's not enough. I'm going to attack here and here. Cut these guys completely off. I want these guys to fill out the line. Fill it out. Put as many soldiers as you'd like down there. Military budget boost. Civilian budget boost. No, 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 no. no. More, more building. More construction. Even though we're building a refinery, which probably isn't the smartest thing to do right now. Whatever. I still get more rubber. Okay, seriously. Alright, so if they really want to do it like this, so be it. Whatever. We'll just encircle all these two divisions and kill them off. And this helps shorten the front line too, so... I'm not really sure what, they're, what game they're playing here, but it's not a very smart one. And if those t that tank and infantry division up there wants to die, so be it. Let them starve. Crap. Borman. Oh, we can't wait. You gotta move in now. Move in. Take him out. Alright. I need you to come down here and help the line. Good lord. Crap. You know what? Maybe I'll use interceptors. Uh, attack helis? You know what? I'm going to use whatever we got. Basic interceptors? I never... Oh, sometimes I use that stuff, but... For a stronger Germany. It's good. Alright, let's get in volunteer divisions, because I need civilian volunteers right now. I need divisions. As our Fuhrer's image has become more definitely German, more and more of us people are forming up beneath the standard. The long, they long for Germany that is, above all, strong and secure. As a result, we now have enough manpower to field entire divisions worth of militia. Though not comparable in quality to the SS or even the HAV. Hadrius' leadership will multiply their strength tenfold. Good. Oh, we lost that battle. Whatever. You know what? That's fine. We lost Hanover. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to send you right there. Now we're gonna have emergency protocols to to help defend the center. There's nothing we can do until we actually get down there. Oh, they overran one of our divisions. That's not good. Oh, Borman. This is why I I really hate Borman. I hate his guts. You know what? Don't even attack. If they're attacking us, they're gonna just lose a lot of supplies. Okay, come on, tanks. You gotta move. Come on, motorized. Move, 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 move. You can't lose this. You can't lose this. Why don't I have enough command power yet? Because for some reason, I still have minus 45% war support. That might actually be a bug. Actually, that's gotta be a bug in the game. And we have minus 32% stability. Yeah, that's gotta be another bug or something. Alright. You're gonna kill these guys off? Because you can. Because I know these guys can. And you're gonna help out. <sighs> Crush these tank divisions. Teach Bowman a lesson. The balding Bowman. The balding rat. Crush them. Okay, come on, get in there. Come on, go, 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 go. Every single one of these soldiers that fights for Borman will be basically hung, probably. Or just shot. Alright, we've at least stopped the attacks. And I'm going to reclaim these cities that they just took from us. They shall pay the price of all the ignorance. Get some planning bonuses, let them get set up. And hopefully, oh, they're still attacking each other, which is good. That's the most important thing to do in this, for playing as Hadrish. Let them kill each other off. Now, sometimes they don't even move, which is kind of mighty disappointing, but whatever. All right. It's time to do it. Keep your friends close. There you go. There you go. Keep all of you guys going this way, too. With air support, air superiority, we should do okay. Crush them. We're taking back Frankfurt. Ah, volunteer divisions. Good, good, good. Do or die brigades. 
Sure, why not? Adrish welcomes the label of fanatic. A fanatic is one who's willing to do anything or pay any price for which he loves most. The SS has many such individuals, all of them loyal to the bone and unflinching in the face of danger in the absence of Burgundy's legions. The Fuhrer has established special SS units trained to take on the most dangerous tasks, commando operations, partisan warfare, even suicide attacks. There is no line these men will not cross in the name of National Socialism. Good. <sighs> More soldiers, especially to make up for the soldiers that we just lost against balding evil man. Which I'm just, I'm going to keep pounding his soldiers. Which sounds really sus, but you know, sometimes you gotta gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta teach these big boy bad boys a lesson. Boss 30, 40, 000 versus basically ninety thousand, not bad so far. Nope, you are not moving. If we can, we're going to try an encirclement. Good. Uh, I guess we could try to move in there real quick. It's fine. We got enough infantry holding the line. Oh, nope. All right, whatever. It's only one marine division. They'll die. Oh, it looks like Borman is really trying to push into Goring a little bit more. Which is fine with me, but you know, whatever. Oh, yes. Alright, now kill them. Teach them a lesson. Teach them a brutal, bloody lesson. Now, you're going to force the attack. We're going to win right here, whether they like it or not. Now, we're going to lose a few guys doing this. But, they're going to lose way more guys than they would have expected. Alright, barman. What do you have? That's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah, this really sucks. But even with these debuffs, we'll, we'll, we'll still win the war. I have 100% confidence. Alright, next up. Question of Loon Bag. We could divide this up here. Now, we're getting relatively close to the point where they might form the anti hadrish pack. Maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see, we've killed off over 100,000. 113,000, actually, which is really good. We have 39 divisions. Obviously, both these sides have more than us. Hmm. Do or die brigades are good. Pure out of Germany. More political power, less damage garrisons. I like that a lot. We lose stability. Doesn't matter. Armed struggle is our primary concern primary concern at this time. But we must not neglect our duty as National Socialists. There are far too many undesirables in Germany, especially within our own holdings. Fifth columnists, clergymen, defeatists. Far from an ideal situation. The Führer is deeply troubled and wishes for the situation to be corrected. This is precisely the kind of dirty work that our volunteer divisions would be suited for, given our relative lack of target practice prior to the war. In addition, are we lacking anything besides anti-tank and CAS and attack helicopters? Not really, no. So, in the meantime, let's build this up just one more. Oh, wait, we have two. Oh, we have two on anti-tank. Wait, wait, what? Um, 23.39. Well, seems like this one would be, would be better suited for that, so goodbye. There you go. And I should go down to five, since we do need some support equipment as well, so. Keep it at three. Artillery is looking pretty good. All right. So, you know what? I'm going to go for Kiel. Now, let's probably... Actually, go back to Hamburg. Uh, Hanover, I should say. Hanover. Now, the line isn't looking super strong, but that's okay. I'm going to make a break. Actually, nah, this is really going to hurt our line a little bit, but hey, we'll cut off Goring soldiers, why not? Take out Hanover, take over Kiel, have a good time. There you go, 10% more attack, nice. And it just ran out of coffee. I don't know how long this video is going to be, though. Loonbag? Well, there goes Goring Soldiers. Oh, no, they still have one more over there. Whoops, my bad. Not quite yet. No, you're not going to cut me off, you stingy pieces of garbage. Good. Get over there. And we've cut Goring Soldiers off. Good. Now, Borman will attack again, obviously. Ah, yes. Good, 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 good. Almost another land action. Let's get some of this. Army deception would be great. Follow it up with. Defense and breakthrough. Good. Let their soldiers struggle against each other. No matter to us. If Bowman wants a territory, let him take it. I want Hanover before we start attacking up here, though. Breslau. Bowman, please get Breslau. If, man, if they could capitulate Goring, that'd be great. But you know what? Even if they form the anti-hatred pack, I'm still fairly confident that we can still win. 
Let them starve. I don't want too many losses. For pure Germany. Pure. Ooh, that seems okay. Military preference. That's actually not too bad. Sons of the SS. More damage gear sends less stability, less recovery rate. More recruitable population factor, though. But military preference. Civilian industry in the middle of a war. Silverware. Fine clothing, cars. What use have we for such frivolities? We need guns, tanks, aircraft, uniforms, helmets. Anything but the worthless trinkets of peacetime. There's no room for an hatred just Reich for the wasteful industries. Our mission is to kill and conquer. Nothing more. Every single factory must be retooled or torn down and replaced with something more suitable. <sighs> oh, goring soldiers. Pathetic. Oh, they're still attacking over here. Actually, how's the war overall going? Hmm. So, war. Mo negative Polish war. That's interesting. Uh, yes. So, that's a major war. Not between us, but between these. They haven't been killing each other at all. I've been killing most of them. Or they've been trying to kill us. Yep, don't even have to worry about this. Let them starve. Let them die. Let them. Perish. And we'll crash into Hanover. And actually, hopefully, get all the way down here to shrink the line a little bit more. Because Bormann will attack again and again and again and again and again. Which I don't like. Munich. Eh, that stuff is okay. Anything up here? Anything down here? No. Alright. Alright. I think it's time. Let's come here. Crush Goring soldiers. Vermin. So they are. Oh! Okay, so Himmler won. I thought for a second they're like. The anti Hadrish pact was forming. I'm like, oh goodness gracious. No, 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 no. So, we gotta get Hanover back. And actually, I'm gonna cut off, cut some divisions. And by cut divisions, I mean cut down Bormann's divisions. Good. Head on down. Military preference? Good. Uh, what, yours is ours? Cool. Loot pipelines. Those Germans who refuse to join us are no better than the treacherous leaders in due time. These degenerate swan will receive a harsh and well-deserved punishment, but for now, we must settle for appropriating anything of value they might possess. The property of traders is ours by right. They are enemies like any others. The flow of loot will pay for our war effort, and we might even find something immediately useful on occasion. Good. There we go. Alright, so we've got enough infantry on the line here. We must cull Ballman's soldiers. Get ready, men. Even with our land forts, we're not looking too bad. Not looking good in some places, but whatever. Alright. Cool. Don't lose too many guys. Guys, that would not be very good. And here we go. Sally forth. Beautiful. Now, you're going to sally forth this way as well. We're going to cut out four divisions here. We're going to trim Borman's balding fat. Ah. Oh. Now that. Actually, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Immediately begin attacking. Do not let them through. Hanover. Oh, there goes Tricky Dick. Goodbye, Hanover. You will not know. Peace. At this point, let's have you guys surround the city. It would be terrifying if you were in Hanover right now. Absolutely terrifying. Completely surrounded. No supplies. No food. Or, or you're running out of food. No fuel. No warmth. No shelter. Only death awaits these traders. Give it a few seconds. Even they're trying to break out, actually. Ah, oh, there's actually a soldier down there, darn it. I, was, I, I didn't see anybody, but these guys are moving over here. Ah, oh, Bowman, you're at it again. So be it. They attack our line? So be it. We shall finish Hanover quickly and rescue our soldiers down here. Because they will get overran. Cool. Don't even bother staying. Rush, 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 rush. What's yours is ours. If you not dedicated your life and possessions to our cause, the fear simply asks, Why? Do you care nothing for the Reich? For your rights, it is the duty of all true Aryans to place anything that might be required at the fear's disposal. Right now, everything is required. You must and you will serve. You will serve and give what we need, or you will die. Make your choice. Another division. Good. Thanks. Move, 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 move. They're breaking through the front line. The center of the line, actually. Oh, what the heck? We lost Castle again. Bowman, you are a rat. Uh, so be it. This is merely a slight setback. Push in right here. Push in right here. They want to attack us. We will attack them right back. 
and kill literally everyone over here. Run them over in the trucks. Ah, so they stopped attacking once I started attacking their own lines. Good, good. Oh, Goring is pushing Bowman back as well. You would like to attack, I see. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, but, what do you have? You're going to be offensive, but we don't have enough command power. Point one. You get 20, point two five more, but war support minus eight, 87. Hmm. Kill them. Kill every single one of these vermin. How many have we lost? 54,000. Bowman's has tripled the losses. Wow. They throw in tanks? No, Bowman, Bowman, Bowman. So be it. They attack us, they're not gonna win. Heat integration, good, good. I'm gonna capture Frankfurt. Once again. Get some more armor, get some more breakthrough, grab some more of that. This is where we're really gonna be focusing on our tanks. We're lacking anything besides Cass. No. We still have a thousand tanks in stockpile. Beautiful. Now begin an assault. A hellacious assault. One that they will not be able to recover from. We will kill these three divisions off. Shield broken? No matter. Don't care. They'll even kill each other. Good! Ha ha ha. I think I'm going to... I'm getting a little too crazy with this. <sighs> Good luck. Good luck. Oh, they're out of organization already. Kill them off. Ignorance. Worms. Whatever you want to call them. Lozano, elected president? Very cool. Oh, there it is. Vituska wins in Oslin. Found him. Wow, that's a big forehead. Mikhail or Michael. <sighs> National Socialist. Actually, we are... Yep, Burgundian system. What's yours is ours. We're gonna get Cassell back as well. But next focus. Piotr in the wreck of them all. I love stability and war support. Our cause is the noblest of them all. Bowman fights for the corrupt status quo. Speer fights for degeneracy. Goring fights for himself while Fuhrer Ronald Hadrish fights for something greater. He fights for the future. He fights so that no one in Germany will ever need to fight again. He fights for the life stripped away from us by Jews and traitors. He fights for Utopia. Fight for him. And unfortunately, I will be right back. All right, everyone, and sons of the SS, the bloods of Varians always runs true. The offspring of SS members are demonstrably superior to all other specimens of their age. Though not yet suited for combat, there are still many things they can do in support of their fathers, brothers, and uncles. We need porters, couriers, boys for general busy work. Should they prove themselves, perhaps they too shall be permitted to join their progenitors in battle. Get more recruitable population factor, division recovery rate goes down, stability goes down, and damage garrison goes up, which is not good, because right now, look at that. We have no manpower, and actually, we've lost some manpower. Mine is... Oh, wait, hold on. Effective total manpower is 50%. Full Hadrish. Yeah, but... Oh, my goodness, this sucks. So, we did capture Castle... Cas Castle? Castle back, so... Other than that, we're doing okay. We're running out of manpower. Or we're already out of manpower. Which isn't very good. I mean, these guys are killing each other. That's nice, but... Hmm... We'll see what happens. So right now, we're going to try to encircle more divisions and destroy them. Now, we might have a chance of just, like, doing a general attack eventually, but... Mm, let's be let's be a little careful with that. Alright, give them a little bit more planning. I want to smash this false mega. And actually, what can we do with this? Because actually, if we can get more legitimacy, we could help this area out. You know, this doesn't matter too much. Training time, planning speed, production efficiency cap, as well as political power game, whatever. But, okay, the Black Sisters. The Aryan women's place is in the home, gravid with children whenever possible. These are strange times, however, and our freer's most recent decree is not without precedent. It is said that in Roman times, the Cimbri and other Germanic tribes would bring their women to the battlefield. They would not only aid their menfolk, but also take up bows and slings in their defense. Might we benefit from this ancient way of war too? It is most unusual, but Aryan women are still Aryans. More recruitable population factor, less ability, less war support. Banned from service and with combat roles, and an elite, an elite division of female soldiers. Ooh. Don't mind if we mind. Love, love, love that. Cool. All right, so if the battles are still... Oh, they're still raging on. That's good, 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 good. Kill each other off. Please kill each other off. Oh, my goodness. Looking nice. Looking kind of nice. Let's not wait until the last second for these guys to actually move in as well with them. So go ahead. And good. Very good. Go ahead and attack as well. Hopefully we don't lose too many guys. 
And we'll take take a quick look soon after this battle to see the strength of Bowman and Goring. Because, well, Goring is doing some good damage against Bowman. Oh, look at that. They're really injured. They're really dead. Beautiful. Cool. Hopefully we didn't take too much... Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. I don't want to take too much territory, so... Let's do this. Don't even bother with that. Don't even bother. Just hold. Wait for the tanks to get... Oh, crap. Uh, Goring is really pushing in. Holy crap. You know what, Goring? You keep doing you. If it's just us versus Goring, I think we can we can probably win pretty easily. But that's just me. That's just me. Let them come in and we'll cut them off. And cut them down like the dogs they are. Oh, look how, look how weak they are. Holy crap, those tanks are not looking good. And that's good with us. But that's right. Also, uh, because I took some time off off the screen because I had to go to work, I, I was able to read a few more comments. Someone says, Bowman or Riot? Well, you might have to do some rioting first because when I get there, end of the Reichstag. Your strength is just an accident arising from the weakness of others. Africa, please. Poor Africa. Uh, you guys, go ahead and just hold for now. Well, everyone get over here, and actually, let's go and set this up, because I will kill off your divisions, Goring. How dare you? Uh, he's really... Hold on. How... What's going on with Goring? Well, hold on. He's kind of ultra-nationalist, eh? So he's got no manpower, and he's 29 to 41 divisions. These guys have 19,000 manpower, and so a good amount of divisions. Uh, hold on. Let's, let's take a look at this. Ongoing... Oh, what do you have here? Uh, that's us. <clears throat> Well, that's a lot of dead Borman soldiers because of us. Oh, wait, hold on. We're about a little... M more than halfway to capitulating. Yeah, we did lose Ostpreisen. Don't forget. I, like, Why is that like that, Ostpreisen? I mean, honestly, we killed more Germans, or at least... Eh, at least more Borman soldiers than Goring has, I think, so far. So, That's alright. That's alright. Ah, the Black Sisters. I love the Black Sisters. Now, we can either do restrict the Militia... Increase the power of Fahedrish and defeat the Belgavel template and remove all units created from this. And do the core really receive two elite units of elite Ancestors Panzer Corps or encourage recruitment. Which we're probably going to have to go down just because we need that manpower. We lose political power, division, organization, recovery rate, stability, war support, construction speed, research speed, output, army professionals, and monthly change. But I do want to get a few more divisions. Let's, we got to go with this route because we're out of manpower. If we did the Waffen SS route, we would have gotten like 750 weekly manpower, which would have been great. But we don't have that. And we still have less stability, less war support. There aren't enough workers. It's not enough that we keep losing them to fatigue or accidents. Now they're deserting too. Without the militias, we can't send men to track them down and hang their dudes. There's only one thing for it. Increase the pressure. If any Aryan, with a working tr tricky trigger finger, wants to enlist, enlist him. If he wants to work, put him to work. If he doesn't want to do either, change his darn mind, whatever it takes. No, whatever it takes. Oh, the Valkyries. Oh, of course. SS Women Division is the Valkyries. Uh... Is that the same template as these guys? Because you know what? I want the freshest. I want the hottest here. I love the SS Panzer Division. But so with 33rd Waffen, I'm replacing you. You're just a little, slightly too weak for us right now. They'll be up here soon enough. Motorized are just incredibly quick. In the meantime, though, we can probably actually go ahead and do this, maybe. Throw in these guys as well. Throw in these guys as well. They might just have enough strength to push in. Come on, cut these pieces. Yes! Oh, we got them! Sons, we've got them. Now let them attack our lines. We don't want to waste too much manpower, especially as Goring is pushing into Bowman's Germany, which is good. Also, as you can tell, like the like the very first episode or the last episode of this campaign, I don't care how long this takes. I'm going to finish this civil war in this episode. So, no matter, even if I can't record other videos, I need to record for the day. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna win this one. Oh, they are so weaselly. They don't want to die. Well, they should have thought of that before they rose up against us and killed off our soldiers in Ostpreisen. Actually, just hold. There you go. Beautiful. And if this is a t tile right there, I'm just going to push him back over the river. Uh, that's super... Is that hard to see? Is that even the river? Is that just Hamburg? No, that's just Hamburg. Okay, that's okay then. Alright, so. Borman is not... Well, I mean, Borman really can't attack us yet because he's so busy with Goring. But you know what? I don't want to mess with it. I'd rather right now wait to get a little bit more manpower because we're missing 20,000 men. And just kind of wait. Oh, look, 100. There goes 130. Nice. 
And we have no influence. It's fine. Doesn't matter to me. Encourage recruitment. That's good. Penal brigades. Individuals consigned to the concentration camps are dead men anyway, right now. In the middle of the war. They're just standing around waiting to die. If they're doomed already, we should do they should do some extra good before they die. The fear of plans exhume or resume. Extermination programs once away or anyway, once victory is achieved, so why not kill two birds with one stone? And let the enemy's machine guns do the exterminating for us. Not a bad idea. Ah, oh, civilian conscripts, great. I could just like delete these guys and get more manpower that way, but let's not do that. God dang, we have like no command power. This sucks. Honestly, with the way... Okay, so... Do they have any manpower? Run to exhaust... Run to exhaustion. They have no manpower. And Borman has a little bit. If we strike into... Any other enemies right now... They could form the anti hadrish Pact. Which would not be very good. We've got to get Goring and Borman to kill each other more. Leipzig is looking pretty good, though. Money-wise, we're doing pretty... Not great, but whatever. Why? Where are my like breeding programs? Can I breed like a factory? A breeding factory? Uh, we need more soldiers. You know, I'm not sure how does it, how does it work. Like, for the anti hadrish pact to spawn, do you have to just take victory points, or is it like tiles around victory points? Because I mean, we could take the Kyo Canal right now. Pinot brigades, cool. Fight for survival. Hadrish field directive 001 or Null Null Eins is as follows. Any soldier or officer who retreats under any circumstance will be considered a traitor to the fatherland and shot. Any who display hesitation or cowardice on the field of battle will be shot. In the event that definitive evidence of wrongdoing cannot be provided, the individuals in question will be consigned to a penal brigade until such a time as they are redeemed in action or death takes them. Seek Heil. Very good. Actually, I think with the Dehedris Yuma, okay, cool. Uh, with this one, we eventually lose our attack and we actually get more defense, which I don't really like. So, oh, nope, we got, actually, that goes nice and high. Oh, I actually, actually made another division, nice. With no manpower, hmm? I'll take it. Oh, yeah, I wonder where the Pinot Brigades were coming in. Now, we do have to keep in mind, they could still spawn an uprising behind us, so... We definitely got to keep that in mind. <clears throat> now, Borman is not looking good. Even the soldiers on here, like, they're not looking great. They're running out of motorized, which is pretty good. Um, hmm, stockpile. Let's see. I got some artillery, some planes. What is this? Support equipment. Arado. Was like, was it a strategic bomber? Tactical bomber. Uh, what is that? They have no infantry equipment, and these guys have no infantry equipment. So basically, we're all we're down to the nubbins. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna have to risk this. Three. We could probably pierce their armor. We could probably get up to here and maybe not have the Hadrish pack, the anti Hadrish pack spawn. Because we might be able to hold, maybe. Oh, that's looking so. Oh, wow. We got a lot of research done immediately. Go right there. That's too weak of a tile. Because they could. Wow, we got everything done. Holy crap. Oh, grab some of that. Uh, it is 64 still, so grab some of this. We gotta grab. Well, do we even have field hospitals? 955. Infantry divisions. At this point, I, I'm considering doing this. We don't have that many divisions, but I think that'll be worth it. We might as well. The slaves just barely any, but whatever. Military police, we can't get the next one. Artillery, can we get new? No, it's a little bit ahead of time. Engineering, industry, 65. Let's grab some of this. More max factories in the state. No, it's so. Eh, we're going to do it anyways. I don't care. Hmm. They're still fighting each other. I love it. Oh, God. All right, so here's here's my plan. You see how weak Goring is? We're gonna we're gonna capitulate Goring. I'm gonna risk it. And if this goes badly, well, then you will probably see me fade in and fade out about right now, ish. If this all does not go to, according to plan, because I'm gonna launch Operation. I have no idea. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna call this because I I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Last stand, Operation Last Stand, maybe. Because I'm going to go, come up here, take everything right now, we possibly can, and use our divisions and literally just VP snipe them. Oh, our ships are still here. Look at that. Oh, we have our shippies. I could just, I could destroy them for manpower. Hadrish is loyalist, I know, but. Did that give us any manpower? Probably not. Oh, crap. Oh, we're actually mobilizing some more. Oh, 74%. Not bad. Fight for survival. 
We got to do this. I, I've, I've got to risk the anti hatred back. So victory or death? Is that a star? Under the fist. Sure, why not? Despite the chaos of the war, the SD never tires. No matter what else happens, they've done sterling work cleansing Germany of the undesirables and maintaining order behind the lines. Our level of control over the populace is unprecedented. When we triumph, this new level of societal control shall be put to good use. But for now, we are content to continue using them to keep our, the doubters in line. Every doubter that has a moment more to think is another potential volunteer. There we go. Something's coming on now. Good luck. Because, for the love of God, we're going to need it. Alright, so can I try to get... No. Alright, boys. Your goal, Hamburg und Kiel. After that, we're going to smash the hell out of these guys over here. Give them three seconds and you can just go on ahead. Three, two, go right on ahead. Alright, it looks like we're winning in most places. Come up here and circle Hamburg, destroy them. This is beyond risky of a maneuver. I cannot afford anyone to come around behind us. Oh, Goring is not doing well now. Look at that. The Kiel captured. Kiel, one of Germany's greatest ports and metaphorical gatekeeper of the Kiel Canal, has fallen. Fighting in the Jutland has steadily creeped northwards as the city was not spared the horrors of war. The canal lays mostly unused. Only the husks of ships line the embankments now with occasional pontoon bridge dotting the landscape. The fighting in the city itself was brief but fierce. Perhaps just as many as 3,000 civilians tried to escape the war zone by boat, but the harbor has been mined. Most of the shipping was sunk as a result, along with their human cargo. Goring's men, mean, men meanwhile, laced most of the major parts of the Kiel with explosives and used the resulting destruction and chaos to withdraw from the city at the expense of the civilians. Goring has been driven out of the strategically important city, and the rest of the Jutland lays open, but the human cost has once again been great. The war continues. Political power, legitimacy, war sports, stability, that's what we could use, because... Okay, at this point, like, yeah, we have 50-80% to 80 poverty, but... How? Oh, yeah, all adults serve, yeah. I'll, oh, we lost slavery, too. No health care. Elite-only education. But, but still, still. Come on. Oh, every time there's lag, I get worried that the anti hadrish pack will spawn. Kill these guys off. We gotta turn around. Good, good, good. Alright, boys. You've done a tremendous job so far. But now, it's time to go ahead and go this way. We're gonna circle these divisions and kill them off. And then I'm gonna VP snipe. We've gotta VP snipe. Come on, move, 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 move. Um, we've done really well so far, so. I'm actually kind of proud of what we've done. Come on, come on. I know t going over a river takes some time, but Jesus Christ. Oh, man, they've... S oh, they formed the pack. They formed the pack already. Yep, they formed the pack. Oh, crap, Arenos. If that's the case, I don't think we'll be able to bust over the river. Th that, that's a bit too strong. Three. Oh, 42. Three or 42. What the heck? Oh, crap. Come on. You've got... Just crush them now. You, It's either win or die. It's either win or die moment. Nice. Go ahead. Do not give them rest. No rest here. No rest. Move in. Move in. And circle these pieces of garbage. Come on. Come on. Come on. Under the fist. Not bad. Stretch our support. Never have so few asked so much of so many, despite our large population base. We just aren't finding the manpower we need to win the war. Perhaps it's past time to stop discerning our, with our efforts. Physical requirements could be adjusted a little. What's a missing finger, too? How much of a barrier could age really be to an area? Perfection is fleeting, as they say. God dang it, this is not good. Get in there. We're out of command power. Come on, you got you. Yes, yes, immediately begin attacking. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my goodness. Kill them all off. Kill every single one of them off. Rostock has been captured, though. Once the busiest part of the harbors on the Black Baltic Sea. Not the Black Sea, that's not here. Rostock has been left thoroughly ravaged as the Civil War makes its way to northern Germany. The citizens of Rostock have watched with dread as the fighting kept closer and closer to the city. Hopeful citizens rejoiced when the enemy advance stopped just short of the city. The celebrations were cut short, though, as a shocking artillery and air bombardment rocked the entire city. It is suspected that the world be conquerors, the would-be conquerors, were simply tired of the protracted resistance, and that such a brazen show of strength would break the city's spirit. The bombardment had the opposite intended effect. The civilians, who had up to this point been indifferent supporters of Goring, rose up in anger in defense of their homelands. 
or the homes, really. Saying the line between civilian and soldier was blurred is a vast understatement. After sustaining heavy f small arms fire from plain clothes civilians all across the ruins, many people who were wearing plain clothes were simply shot on sight in the streets, with few exceptions. In response, the fighting took to the underground. The city's vast drainage and sewer systems were extensively used by Goring and his newfound allies to great effect. So far, great, in fact. That the underground systems were allegedly gassed more than once, and the combat engineers were deployed to collapse the tunnels, increasing the damage to the already destroyed city. Rostock University, one of the oldest centers of higher education in the world and headquarters of the Defenders, was hit multiple times by ballistic missiles, completely leveling it. It wasn't until after the fighting concluded that the attackers learned that it was actually being used as a hospital and refuge for suffering uh, civilians. Not a single soldier was killed in the strikes, and there were well over a thousand dead buried in the rubble. Goring's men, bloodied and battered, have been retreated, or have retreated from the broken bones of the city, covering covered by his air force. Now, for the time being, it looks like Goring is being put on the defensive in North Germany. This scene is becoming shockingly repetitive. So, wait, why did we lose stuff there? Wait, why did we lose things like that? Okay, so here we go. This is what we gotta do. We're going to break the lines here. So now these people... Actually, you're halfway to capitulation. Wow. Not bad. We we encircled quite a few guys. Goring does not have the industry like us. Well, he doesn't have that much industry anyways. You're going to attack. You're going to attack. You're going to attack. You're going to attack. Motorize. You have to come get to Koenigsberg. Come on. You have to come to Bromberg and get yourself down to Breslau. If we can get Breslau... If we can get Danzig, Stolp, and even Königsberg, I believe that will capitulate them. Engage the enemy. Kill them. Traitors all. Kill them all. Help out here. Help out. Oh, let the motorized go. This is this is dangerous as all heck, man. Oof. Where are the... Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk this. I'm gonna encircle these soldiers. Encircle, kill them off, kill them off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, look how many guys we got down here. And they're not taking down there. Great. Great, 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 great. Kill, 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 kill. Come on. Oh my gosh, these guys are fast. I love it. Love it. Love it. Oh my goodness. Allenstein Stahl. Oh, come on, come on. Crush these pieces of garbage. Oh, we're doing great. Oh my gosh. The North Pocket. Jesus Christ, yes. Oh, I, I, I noticed. I looked. I saw. I was looking down here. I saw. No, no, no. You are not allowed to move. Do not move. You are, for the love of God, you're not allowed to flip and move right now, you pieces of garbage. How dare you move, start moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Why are you moving? You're staying on this line right here. I'm destroying the line up here. We can't afford anyone here to move except for the soldiers I have already requested to move because of soldiers uprising on this side. That's actually really dangerous down there. That's actually extremely dangerous right here. Holy crap. Alright, so you guys make your way down here. Cut you out. Reinforce the line. We're going to need soldiers on this side, but I'm probably going to just leave it up to the tanks to hold and circle. That sort of good stuff. This is beyond dangerous. Um, there we go. I don't really care. It really doesn't matter at this point, so. Strasbourg recaptured. Nearly every head turned to observe Strasbourg today as a large amount of SS men gathered their forces for an assault to retake the former base of operations. The defenders entrenched themselves as best as they could and prepared for a fight to the death. A horrible stalemate settled, and there was no clear winners. House to house fighting erupted across what remains of the city. The SS got a little taste of their own medicine as they advanced, and entire streets were bursting with fire. The whole city was rigged again with bombs. The SS stopped their uh, reckless advance and cautiously and patiently combed throughout the city slowly cutting their way through the rings of defenses. There was no quarter given to either side, and little attention was given to the poor souls who were once again caught in the crossfire. Hadrius' men did eventually come out on top. The grim determination and callousness won the day in the end for even now surviving civilians are being pressed again, a gang, the press gang to repair important infrastructure and bury the dead, even as they fall like flies thanks to the disease and salvation. Starvation. The few captured soldiers, meanwhile, have been shipped west, where it's like to Burgundy, where a terrible fate waits them. I'm told it's not over. It is not. Oh, we lost it? Wait, why do we... What the heck? Kill these traitors, scum. Alright, so we've got Breslau. We need Stolp. Stolp, 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 Stolp. Mm. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Use this division to cut these guys off and just kind of stop them. Stretch our support, that's good. Oh, 
Come on, Goring, you've got to give up. Victory or death. Germany is doomed without Heydrich. Must it be written on every sign and scrap of paper our people see on a daily basis? This is a matter of life and death, not just for the man in the streets, but for the entire German nation. If we are defeated, then so is National Socialism. The Asiatic hordes will return from the East and descend upon a civilization to tear it apart. The Jewish international finance will buy up whatever is left and transform Germany's ruins into a new Zion. Is that not reason enough for you to fight and die for the Fuhrer? We'll have Metz back as well. That'll be good. Alright, so you do not waste men like that. Come over here, and we shall have what we need. I told you to stop. I told you to stop. I'm the pausing. Oh crap, they got it back. Oh, this is risky. Get back to Breslau, come on. Oh. Oh wait, hold on. Look at the line, look at the line. Oh, we're going in, boys, we're going in. Oh my goodness, we're... Th oh, this is such a distraction. You know what, if I lose all my soldiers here on the, on the right side, and the eastern side here, it doesn't matter. We we have the potential to win right now and destroy Borman and Goring. Holy crap. Oh, yep, I've sacrificed that motorized division. So be it. Get to Königsberg. This is a good distraction. Stuttgart has been captured. Borman's citadel on the Rhine. Stuttgart has been overrun. The fighting that had lasted these few days has finally come to an end, and a dreary silence has fallen over their once prosperous city. Many civilians tried to hold up in their homes or flee as German Germans fought Germans across vast automotive complexes and corporate skyscrapers. Some early reports estimate over 60% of the city has been destroyed, and with the little housing that remains have quickly become quarters for the newly arrived conquerors. As most of the civilian population that remains scrounges for the few resources that lay unclaimed, only one question remains un unanswered. Will Bowman return? Onward! South Germany begins to be liberated immediately. Crush them. I have basically sacrificed these soldiers, these brave, brave soldiers to their death so that we may strike in the West. If you are going to die, I shall just take the manpower. What little is left of it. Königsberg recaptured. Um, well... We will raid this one. No one expected SS forces and Prussia capable of launching an offensive that could retake Königsberg, but that is exactly what happened today. In a daring offensive that defied all expectations, all the SS rallied what men and material they could find and launched an all-out attack on the city. Hostile troops and desperate civilians who remember the last time the SS were in town banded together to fortify the ruins and prepare for an assault. The attack came from both sides both inside the city and advancing formations, the self SS loyalists have been waiting patiently and seeing their chaos and seeing their chance. Put their uniforms back on and wrecked havoc throughout the city, killing anyone in their path. With the defenders' heavy guns already been taken out, the advancing men were quickly were able to quickly enter the city, where hand-to-hand -hand fighting commenced. It was a bloodbath. Neither side gave any quarter, for no one expected any. The SS had the edge, though, partially through training, fanatic morale, and just pure guts. They have retaken Königsberg. Civilians flee in mass as the grim men reestablish a stranglehold over the city. Goring, you've got to give up. Come on. But, at the same time, we are making an extreme show in the East. They can't hold us back. It's over. It's over. I had to sacrifice these soldiers to win the war. It's over for them. It's completely over. You know what? I'm going to risk this. You're going to get all the way back down to the front line. If I can save one tank division, and if I can take you and come up here and distract this helicopter division, because that would be... Too dangerous if they were to win. Nuremberg has been captured. Nuremberg, once the beating heart of our party and origin of some of the greatest political marches on earth, has fallen today. The wide streets, once loud and crowded with NSDAP supporters, lay barren, their only witnesses. To our past glory has been the corpses lining the streets. Borman loyalists were spread throughout the city, combined with a hostile civilian population. The aggressors had no choice but to sweep that city house by house, apartment by apartment, block by block. The city was, for all intents and purposes, a giant fortress. Heavy urban fighting has been has taken its toll on both sides. Along with the civilian population, thousands are dead as the city has been gutted, the loss of the strong stronghold, as it is after Borman and his men. If the front lines can't soon be established or stabilized, much of southern Germany will lay open to attack, and it already is, though. Much of southern Germany may soon, and will soon, suffer the same fight as Nuremberg if the defenders fail to rally. Our next stop, Wien. Absolutely. At this point, it is time to attempt to come back home. We'll lose Königsberg probably again. But this is all a show. Look how many we've killed. Three quarters of a million by doing this. Three quarters. Now, I have sacrificed our soldiers. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. It's what we had to do. But they knew what they were getting involved in. They knew absolutely what was going to happen. Keep these guys in place if you can. And you can't. Okay, whatever. Just defend up here. Victory or death. 
in it together. The Civil War might be a little more than a pack of tired old men taking half-hearted swings at each other, but we are still the strongest. The SS has held the line where all others have faltered, giving their blood for victory time and time again. They are the pride of Germany and the invincible sons of the Aryan race. The uh, Myrdmi Myrmidons of the Fatherland. Every single one worthy spineless demi-Aryan and the nation combined cannot overcome their might. Oh man, that, that actually hurt. Munich has been captured. Today, Martin Bormann's legis, legendary resolve faltered. Not for Munich, the NSDAP, capital of the movement, has finally been taken to advancing forces. It was here that Hitler's genius culminated in the annexation of the Sudetenland, where our men gathered for the liberation of our Austrian brothers and where Hitler himself took the streets to end the vile Weimar Republic. The birthplace of the Nazi party was not lost without a fight, though. Bowman's loyalists fought in every street corner. Civilians were pressed ganged in the labor brigades, homes transformed into makeshift bunkers, and the streets blocked off with an assortment of rubble. Ruined vehicles and whatever else that could t be tossed into the streets. Massive mob bombardments softened the city before the attack the main attack had commenced, and combined with an equally determined infantry assault, the defenders were forced to withdraw from the city. Bormann's position is precarious, with enemies deep into southern Germany. Many speculate that his faction is close to collapse. Whether he and his loyalists can rally and recover or not remains to be seen. Is Bormann on his last legs? Oh, you bet he is. Alright, trucks. We're going straight to Veen. Straight to Veen. Full stop. Right now. Here we go, boys. And girls, if you're watching. I doubt girls are watching, but hey, you never know. Tevin. Follow Leipzig. The birthplace of Johann Bach has been the center of heavy fighting in recent days. Martin Bormann's forces have been driven out of this culturally rich city, but at a heavy price. Germans from both sides lay strewn throughout what remains of the city. Though damaged, many of Leipzig's culturally significant buildings still stand, and although heavy artillery bombardment has devastated the industrial parks, and many civilians wander the streets, digging through the rumble for the lost loved ones. In the center of the city, over 300 men have created a formidable holdout in the monument to the Battle of Nations. Though so surrounded and loan supplies, it is expected they will surrender soon. Bormann has suffered a great defeat today. It remains to be seen if his loyalists will be able to recapture this strategically important city, or if it will remain occupied indefinitely. 300, you say? Burn them out. We've reached one of our divisions. One division has made it out alive. This is unfortunate we had to sacrifice this other tank division, though. No matter. No matter the cost, we will still win. Dresden is ours. Good. I immediately cut these soldiers off. Happy 1965, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Good, 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 good. Move, 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 move. Get in there, get in there. No, don't let them in, don't let them in, don't let them in. Oh, come on. You do not let them in. The war is over for them, though. It's, it's completely over. There's nothing they can do. Breaking the status quo? Oh, look at that. Where's Martin Bowman? Hadrish asked calmly. The degenerate seated before him groaned in response. He sighed, clenched his fists, and swung another silent punch. Three teeth clattered to the floor. Hadrish had successfully penetrated the mal Malodorus boil on the face of the Reich and crushed the forces of Martin Bowman. The blood of cowards and traitors stained Hadrish's conquered land as a vanquished blasted bullet into their own skulls. The stagnant... Pustel had finally burst, releasing an explosion of bureaucrats and soldiers pathetically scrambling from the wrath of the SS. Yet there was one man's blood that Hadrius craved above all else. The SS had stretched their wings and swooped down, glaring into every alleyway and under every floorboard. They discovered the general Wilhelm Bergdorf and Walter Wenck, lying side by side in an abandoned barracks, their shattered wine bottles and bleeding heads leaking crimson across the floor. Walter Havel and the rest of Bowman's cabinet were found in an underground bunker, eyes staring towards the ceiling and their open maws caked with dried foam. I don't know, the naked man screamed. The pitch irritated Hadrish. Of the many scaring rats captured in the aftermath of the collapse, Baldur von Schirach had proved the most useful. As Bowman's second in command, his proclamation of surrender over the radio has doubtlessly seeped the final vestiges of energy from the last Bowmanite holdouts. Von Schirach was not lying. He had suffered far worse at the hands of the SS torches before Hadrish had even entered the building. What would a few more punches achieve? Hadrish took out his pistol and shot the wriggling worm in the head. Had Bowman fled the country? Was he hiding in an underground bunker or lying dead under heaps of debris? He would never stop hunting for that grotesque dwarf. He leaves a legacy of rats and rubble. It is over, my friends. I have said it multiple times. But now it's time to come for Golrin. The fat man. We will put this man on a diet permanently. Now we, are, we must rush. Rush. We can still save this division. Hey, George Wallace inaugurated as president of the U.S. Oh, look at that smile. It's kind of ch kind of chunky. But he's got a, that nice smile. Oh, come on. Oh, Königsberg captured. Uh, well, I'm not... You know what? We've already lost enough manpower, stability, whatever. Oh, I thought it was over for these soldiers. I, th I really thought it was over. 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep you surrounded here. Keep one army, because actually at the end here, Spidel is going to show us two colors, and we'll attack Germania. We must. We have done it. We've linked up. I lost hope for this other tank division, but we've got it. Oh, God. I'm, I'm loving this right now. I told you guys that it was possible to win with going down... There we go. He's going to go to war with us. Going down this specific path of the Focus 3, and it's possible. It's absolutely 100,000% possible. It's not easy. For the love of God, you got to be really strategic, and you got to really plan for this, but it, it's absolutely possible. Clipping the wings. Goring's corpse swayed gently in the breeze, the dry blood staining its clothing like a, a dark crimson. Hedrich's eyes drifted upwards towards the blackening skies. He anticipated rainfall with approximately five minutes. His father had once mused that life could come from death. On one hand, he concurred, for an instance. For instance, the riding carcass of orthodox national socialism had provided a grotesque incubator for reformists and militarist maggots to wriggle out of. On the other hand, once something had been annihilated as brutally as Goring and Shona's armies, the concept of resurrection remained a fantastical Christian fantasy. The collapse of the militarists before the onslaught of the SS had been devastating. Many of the incompetent screeching journals who had fought to alleviate the gradual death of national socialism through mindless plunder and warfare had been quick to shoot themselves before capture. The less fortunate had been left at Hadrich's mercy. Him and Goring, a man who valued status and wealth above blood and soil, was captured alongside his family attempting to flee to Central Africa. He had expected fair treatment, a fancy new uniform, and a quick salute before facing a firing squad. A week in SS custody had proven the folly of his beliefs. The thought of the Reichsmarschall swinging from a meat hook, gasping for breath as the piano wire slowly sliced into his fat neck, filled Hadrich with pleasure. Yet it was not meant to be. The corpulent slug had crunched on cyanide in his cell rather than face the jeering crowds, no matter. Hadrich looked back at the slender corpse before him. The execution of young Edda Goring had sent the appropriate message. The sins of the father... All the sins of them all. The fat man is no more. Katowice captured. The first shots fired in the Battle of Katowice were not heavy rattling of machine guns. The quick snaps of assault rifles, nor the booming of artillery, or even shot in Katowice itself. They were precision shots from what thought to be elite snipers on the outskirts of the city. After hours of constant harassment, one of the culprits was finally shot as he shifted positions after his latest kill. It was no elite hair division, or sniper, or even a veteran of the Great War. It was a boy no older than 15 wearing a Hitler Junge uniform. Heavy fighting started up after the attackers finally entered the city. Artillery crews drank heavily as they launched their ordnance. Most of the snipers had turned out to be boy scouts ra ranging in age from as old as 17 to 11, and every call for sniper suppression was more often than not a death sentence handed out to German children. It would later be discovered that the local youth leaders were mostly hardcore supporters of Goring who had called upon their members to fight for the true fear of Germany and save our homes from rapists and looters. Currently, the new owners of Katowice are too busy keeping their heads down and methodically combing the ruins for snipers to do much of either. Morale plummets lower and lower as the body count continues to climb. What about those fanatics? Let them starve. They aren't going anywhere, and Posen as well. The all too familiar sounds of heavy machine guns and artillery strikes have re finally reached Posen. The fighting has reached new lows. Men have resorted to clubs and torches in this fighting as supplies become more and more spent while the killings continue unabated. The defenders were well prepared. Civilians and slave laborers were digged, or directed to dig, and construct an impressive ring of forts around and throughout the city. Strong points were meticulously chosen throughout the city, and many first-generation settlers volunteered to take up arms against approaching enemy army, refusing to see their homes fall without a fight. Both sides got their fight, though. The attackers' dreams of a quick victory was dashed as they ran headfirst into the outer fortresses. Even after sustaining heavy artillery fire, missile strikes, armored assaults, and then massed infantry attacks were only some of the fortresses compromised. Trying to assault the city with nearly half of the outer fortresses still operational proved to be disastrous and a constant thorn in the side as the defenders stubbornly fought on inside the city itself. A daring assault by professional army soldiers finally split the defenders in half, ending organizers' resistance in Posen. Although the city is still a war zone, enough control has been established for the attackers to claim victory. A couple forts still stand to find, lobbing heavy ordnance at whoever, at whoever comes a little too close through the per to the perimeters, but Goring Germans, for all intents and purposes, are trapped and irrelevant. What about those fanatics? Let's starve them out. They aren't going anywhere. Spido refuses to surrender. From the beginning. We have been prepared to fight for the Welthauptstadt. After all, the Germans will fight the hardest to retain their ideology of sin. To this end, we have proven correct. Spido has predictably declared that Germania will never fall to the forces of Himmler and his puppet, and has called all Germanians to fight against us, even if our people have raised us concerns on the future state of Germania. Whether it will survive the fighting, we are confident enough in our SS to purge the pure capital belonging to the Aryan citizen of any degenerates while ensuring unity and peace remains. The new important news is, most of all, that Spado does not wish to end his little shred. The fear will fix that. The strongest shall survive, and Königsberg captured. We've read that before. Go right ahead if you'd like to read that again. It's time to end this. It is 1965. We, Germany has suffered long enough. Do not worry, my friends. Surround them. For once, we have 
them surrounded. We shall use our panzers, our Burgundish panzers, and strike deep into their hearts. In it together, my friends. Do it for us. People of Germany, the SS have always defended you. Without us, where would you be? Dead, swallowed up by the red beast, urged on by Jewish whips. The Rhineland will be French, Prussia will be Polish, and Austria a puppet of Rome. We've done so much, spilled so much blood, perished in pain and smoke and fire. All for you. This is our last chance. Join us for your brothers. Hey, we actually, we have a positive amount of war sport. Look at that. Awesome. That is finally awesome, awesome, awesome to see. Friends, do not worry. Do not worry about it. The final strike shall come soon. We've lost 4,000. They've lost 2,000. They shall suffer for their misdeeds. Trust me. Let the tanks roll in. Hey, what's going on now? Harold Wilson, eh? Oh, I'm going to save Germania for last. I want to savor this moment. But I kind of do want to savor the moment, but I do know that we got to finish this war up. Pretty quickly. He has a few seconds and we shall unleash another attack on the tanks. And actually, we're just going to do like a general attack. Like, defeat the tanks. They won't have enough supplies. Actually, look at our supplies right now. Looking pretty good. Tons. We're, we're green on everything. This is probably a really bad idea. And it is. But I'm going to do a general attack. I'm going to end this worm's existence. Sally forth, everyone. The end is now. Spado is showing his true colors. And he's going to die for it. Despots. Pathetic. Germania, surrounded. Look at all these pathetic soldiers. <sighs> dead. 100,000 more men lay dead. For what? For what? Nothing. Look at that. 137,000. Why did they die? Why did they die? And, of course, we get the, the score zero. <laughs> Observe. And it just picks right back up. Cool. The triumph of the will. Adrius did not smile when Spidal was brought before him, but he did know his joy would shine through in his eyes no matter how hard he tried to keep his face still. The man had attempted to go down with one of the last bastions of his men, deep inside a series of government offices, three floors above where a hulking mouse tank had sheltered in the lobby, and turned the building into a bunker. Smoke from where the armor had finally been punctured and from a fire raging across the east wing had left the general's damp skin as black as ash. Lost your capsule? Couldn't quite bite through, Hadrush asked, looking past the journal to where several of his men stumbled from the smoke to be shot by a waiting firing squad. I won't die a coward, coward's death, hangman. When the sons and daughters of Germany come for you, I doubt you'll say the same. The sons and daughters of Germany, Hadrus said wistfully, looking down at the line of corpses next to the building. The remains of defenders, both civilian and professional soldiers. And unfortunately, SS men both. One of Spidel's dead traitors could have been no older than 13. Hadrus shrugged before turning around and walking away, capture anyone still in their alive and put them all away. A black sun rises. It is time to reclaim our country. It is time. Free military factories? Uh, wow. Look at that. Beautiful. And you know what? I told you guys it was possible. And it absolutely was. You can win. It's... Wait, so it's it's really difficult. But... Oh, should we make some Panza flak mouses? That'd be so cool. But probably not. Probably not. But yeah. It's absolutely possible. Next, we got some motorized, we got some APCs. Infantry rifles, do we have anti tank? Yes, we do. Artillery, how about basic anti air? We're going to need some anti air eventually, but we don't need this one. Transport helicopters, we might consider making some of those. I do want some of this, some of this, some of this, and then some of, well, the fighters. Uh, basic jet fighters and crew jet fighters, there you are. So, there's we got jet fighters. Some Good. Good. I'm not sure what else to say, but... It is done. Uh, leave it on to you for both these guys. Maybe make a few more of those. Make some of those. Really make a lot more tanks. I love the tanks. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. And ships. The Adler class. Can we upgrade this just a little bit more, maybe? Secondary guns. Looking really good on this stuff, man. Maybe not. Hangar spaces. 
Doesn't look like it. Cool. Basic cruiser rush duck class. Uh, is there anything we can upgrade here? Maybe doesn't look like it. It looks it looks great already. Actually, can we change this at all? Now we have that sonars. Yeah, I mean this is great. I love this. Beautiful. And I want to get through one more focus before we end this. Hadris is victorious. International and domestic news today. You. Uh, and from the media today, captured the defining moment of a generation of Germans, Reinhard Heydrich, riding into a ruined Germania. Nazi salute in one hand, surrounded by legions of his loyal SS troops, along with his guest speaker on a state visit, Heinrich Himmler. As anthems of the SS and the National Socialist Play State played thunderously, Heydrich commanded his troops to form walls in front of the Vauxhall, where he took the podium behind them. In the following speech, Heydrich emphasized how his new order would restore the Aryan blood and return the ideals that made our Reich the strongest to us, among other statements from the Butcher of Prague. Soon after, Himmler began a speech declaring German-Burgundian relations restored with an alliance to destroy degeneracy where it stands among other things, while German-Burgundian relations have soared. The rest of the world has reacted in sharp condemnation, looking on in horror. The U.S. and Japan have announced a build of other nuclear assets as well as full mobilization of the armed forces, with several allied countries following suit. Heil Hedrisch. Ah, handsome blonde man. Alright, so we'll do that. I want to read the first focus, though. Our future secured orders from the top. Without the support of Reich's Führer Himmler, we will never achieve our borderline miraculous victory. And as such, we must obey whatever he deems fit to, to demand of us. While waiting further orders from the Odenstadt, we shall continue transforming the Reich into a truly national socialist state. Bericht, Panzergrenadier Division 1, Berserker. Geheim. Berserker has been controlled or confirmed as a continued threat despite taking Germania in the Gross Realm. Our forces are unable to prevent their escape. The unit has made extensive use of its infiltration training, mostly avoiding detection. Aerial reconnaissance has been deployed to no avail. PGDI is clearly avoiding in the open countryside. Forward Panzer elements are believed to have made contact and engaged in combat with the rearguard unit southwest of Germania. The precise nature of this engagement is just to be confirmed owing to the complete destruction of the units involved. Initial assessments indicate that our men were struck while resting, mostly likely by a force composed solely of leg infantry to facilitate a stealth operation. All manned portable supplies were stripped from our troops and their vehicles sabotaged. The division remains under the command of Oberst Ulrich Wagner. Following the capture of Germania, it must be assumed that he is acting autonomously, without directives from any officer or higher rank. Contrary to our hopes, we believe that this may be a, a make the division a more potent force, potent force in the field. The absence of constraints on the unit's conduct, combined with their extreme degree of training and absolute opposition to the fear, means that we can expect the PGDI, or one, to violently hamper out efforts at every opportunity. Further assessment to be made, pending successful gathering of intelligence at the Führer's direction. Hail Heydrich. Heydrich. A war band has yet unmatched, yet match them we must. But my friends, that shall conclude today's long video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you did. Leave a like. I'd consider you guys leaving a like for us winning the German Civil War as Hadrish. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below and I'll see you tomorrow as we shall see what happens between Papa Havati Hadrish and Heinrich Himmler. Thanks for watching and have a tremendous rest of your day.